Hello Trapped and Tigers and welcome to art. Today we're going to talk about line. Now here are some line drawings of animals by Pablo Picasso. Now the first one that you see looks like a dog. It is a wiener dog or a dachshund and it's made with one single line. The next animal you see is made of a line that curves and curly cues, and it is a camel. Now, this single line drawing has a long leg, one leg that it's standing on. Can you guess what animal that is? A flamingo. And our next animal is very wise and has a big eye, and it is a line drawing of an owl. Now, our last drawing here it looks a little bit like the owl, with a couple of differences. Its beak sticks straight out and it has a little tiny wing. If you guessed it, it waddles. It is a penguin. That's right, guys. So these are some famous line drawings by a famous artist named Picasso. And today we're going to make some line drawings of our own. I'm going to read to you this book called Lines That Wiggle. And while I am reading this book, you and I are both going to make some lines together. So get out your markers, your crayons, and your paper, and let's get started with line. All right, lines that wiggle and lines that bend. What kind of lines do you see in this book? I see lots of wavy lines. Let's see, here we go. Wavy, curvy lines. wavy lines from end to end. This octopus is making tight little curvy waves on the surface of the ocean. Can you make those lines too? Just wiggle your marker or your crayon up and down, up and down while it moves across the page. Lines that tickle and lines that sprout. Bugs have lines that stick right out. Do you see that ladybug on the ceiling? <laughs> lines to trap, oh my. That is a spider web made out of line. Can you make an X on your paper? And then a cross. And now all we have to do is make circles. A smaller one, a bigger one, a large one. And we have a spider web. Let's make a single line from our spider web with a little spider on the end. Lines to hide, two lines running side by side. Now you can see that the lines that these two little monsters on their bikes are making, they're dashed lines or dotted lines. So let's try that. Let's take our marker or crayon and just make some short, little dashes or dots all in a row. Lines that curve and lines that curl. Now these lines that are unwrapping the mummy curl like this. Can you guys do those? They're kind of like loop-de-loops. Underwater lines that swirl. Lines that crisscross and lines that mend. Let's try this net that has caught a few monsters. What we're going to do is we're going to make some straight lines going one way. I'm going diagonally. Can you guys do that? And then we're going to do the exact opposite going the other way. And now we have something that looks like a net. Lines with doggies at the end. There's our dachshunds again. They're being walked by a cat. <laughs> lines that scurry. Lines in three. Lines in leaves that grow on trees. Lines that twist. Lines that sway. Lines that swish the flies away. 
Now here's a different line that we haven't seen so far. It's a thunderbolt. Let's see if we can draw it, or lightning bolt. So we're gonna take our marker or our crayon and put it on our paper, and we're gonna draw a straight line. Don't pick it up. And let's go back and forth in a straight line and see if you can get smaller or bigger. And that is our lightning bolt. If we wanna get fancy, we can draw lines next to our lightning bolt and make it look three-dimensional. Rainbow lines are way up high. Lines are everywhere you look. Find some lines not in this book. So look around the room that you're in and see what kinds of lines are around you in your room. I see in my room a window, and the lines make a square, and inside the square, the window is divided by two lines, one going down and one going across. I also see in my room, and you probably do too, lines that make up a door, too long and too short. Are there lines inside the door that you see? Maybe two rectangles and a line that makes the doorknob? Look around, see what other lines that you can find other than the lines that we tried today. I'd love to see your lines. If you can get your parent or an adult in your house to take a picture of your lines, please send them to me. My information is in the school directory my email or my phone, and you can text them to me or email them to me. I'd love to see your pictures, and I'd love to post them. So send me all your line drawings. All right, that's all for now, Tigers. Bye, and stay creative.